my week. <laughs> it sounds like he said Hora. <laughs> he did, he said Hora. <laughs> god, that really is quite hideous. Do you realize? Oh my god. I need this for my life. I think it turned out okay. This is wrong. I would just like to mention that I am so sorry to every single Jewish person out there. <laughs> Hello, internet world. Barry here. I've had a very interesting weekend. Didn't get to do the drinking game because my photo shoot actually took longer than expected. The so drinking game hopefully will be this weekend. The shoot itself went awesome. There's some beautiful shots of it. I posted them on my Facebook in case you want to go check them out. It's under the body tree folder. She's an amazing photographer, so it was very fun to get to play around with makeup and all types of craziness that day. This week to stick with themes, I decided to go with shit girls do that drives me insane. I will fully admit that I am one of the girls who I do some of these things. They drive me crazy and I even get annoyed with myself when I do them. The idea for this actually came from this past weekend when I went to the bathroom in the shelter and someone had peed all over the seat. I know bathrooms have germs. I know a lot of people don't want to sit on the seat. I know a lot of girls hover. That's fine. Hover as much as you want. But please have some consideration for the people who come in after you just rivers of urine all over the toilet seat. It's disgusting, especially when you go in and you don't see it and you sit down. I do hover at clubs. If I get anything on the toilet seat afterwards, I wipe it up. Then I go to the sink and I wash my hands. In that same vein, when I'm waiting to wash my hands, but I have two girls in front of me taking up the mirrors in front of the sinks so they can fluff their hair, get away from the mirror. Step back. I want to wash my hands. I don't want to be sitting behind you waiting 10 minutes while you fluff your hair. You look fine. Do this somewhere else. I've been run off the road, I think about three times in my life, by a woman who was doing her makeup while driving. The last time that happened, the lady, I started yelling at her, being like, hey, honking my horn because she was coming over on me. She puts down her mascara and flips me off. What is wrong with you? It makes me crazy. I have a lot of guy friends. I have two older brothers, so growing up, I was just more comfortable with guys. That's cool, whatever. Something that really annoys the crap out of me is how girls will go on about how gross guys are. Girls are just as disgusting as guys. It's part of being human. We ooze from all of our orifices. And I don't want to hear it because yeah, the guy's bathroom, it's, it's a steady level of gross, okay? And then girls' bathrooms sometimes are really nice and clean or the most disgusting things I've ever gone into. It's just like, ugh. So, girls are just as gross as guys. Making bitchy or cryptic posts on your public forum of choice while fishing for sympathy and or comments that ask what's going on, and then replying with, I really don't want to talk about it. If you don't want to talk about it, then why do you post it up there? Why not go to a personal friend who knows you, who can probably give you good advice, and talk to them? I can understand venting. I vent like a champ. I mean, if you posted something like that, and then someone asks you what's going on, and you replied with what's going on, that's different. 
But posting something like that, and then replying with that you don't want to talk about it, then it just, it, why did you post it? Why did you post it? Every time I go to the gym, there is at least one girl there that looks like she primped herself. Makeup, hair, matching gym outfit to go to the gym. You're going there to, God forbid, sweat and to work out. You're not going there to impress anybody. All it does is make the other girls around you feel like crap. And if that was your goal, you fucking suck. And if that wasn't your goal, are you there to pick up men? What is wrong with you? I hate it when people ask questions during the movie. I know a few guys who do this, but for the most part, it's women. Is he the killer? Why did she say that? Why is he shooting her? How can the dog talk? Wasn't he left-handed at the beginning of the movie? Do they get together in the end? Why are the cops after him? I actually have a lot of friends who do this, and I've lobbed things at them. I don't care if it's an actual intelligent question or if it's a dumb question. I hate being asked a gazillion questions while trying to watch a movie. I just want to be like, shush. Watch the movie. It'll explain itself. Unless it's an M. Night Shyamalan movie. Those always leave the theater feeling more confused and a little dirty. Once again, every week I always thank everybody for my views and my comments. I love getting comments and I love being, getting the messages from everybody that have been telling me I'm doing a good job and that they love the vlog. I have so much stuff planned for this. It's gonna be awesome. So I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next week. Bye!